watu wengine wajui kwamba <laughs> tunaweza pia kulinda kupitia watu we can also be protected through men in this kingdom katika ufalme huu god can even use people mungu huweza kutumia watu People may be used watu wanaweza kutumika kama sehemu as part of protection to other people kiroho You have given up, you find someone is giving you the word of God. If not meeting that person, there is a man you meet in life. He change completely. Kuna mtu unamkuta katika maisha anabadilisha kabisa maisha. Unajua nikiongelea ulinzi watu wanafikiri ni kuzingira usiguswe. Ulinzi it is obvious everything. Hata maisha yako ya kiroho kuna siku unajikuta uko down. Mtu anasema neno linakuponya. Linakuinua, linakuponya. A man can be used mtu anaweza kutumika okay umefika kwenye andiko have you found that uh, scripture na kushtue hasa nyie wanawake ndio mjue leo jinsi wanawake nao ni watu amjui wanawake ni walinzi women spiritual protectors angalia kitabu cha yeremia 31:22 anasema huku mwanamke pia ni mlinzi jeremia 31 verse 22 ni moja kati ya department ya ulinzi katika ufalme wa Mungu women are also members of the secret department of heaven. Uh-uh. Okay, umefika. Hebu so. Hata lini utatangatanga e binti mwenye kuasi? Kwa maana Bwana ame ameumba jambo jipi? Arudie kwa sauti. Kwa maana Bwana ameumba jambo jipi? Kwa maana Bwana ameumba jambo jipi? Duniani. Duniani. Mwanamke atamlinda mwana Awesimu mke wako una hatari kubwa. If you don't respect your wife, you are in danger zone. Bwana ameumba jambo jipya duniani. God has created a new thing Mwana in the mke. earth. Mwanamke, a woman atamlinda shall encompass Mwana a man. Wanaume ndio wana nguvu. We think Na ndio maana mimi kwa kama la wanawake nilifundisha nikasema women are gate keepers. That's why I taught in the Sunday that women are the gate people. Mungu amefanya jambo jipya wapi? God has created mwanamke where on earth Adamlinda. that a woman shall encompass a man. Umeona hiyo kesi hapa? So ukitaka kutafakari kuhusu ulinzi <laughs> kwenye ufalme huu. So if you want to meditate about protection it is beyond the name of Jesus. Security is more than blood of Jesus. Jina la Yesu, the word of God. Damu ya Yesu, Holy Spirit. Neno la Mungu. Whatever. Roho mtakatifu. Even people chocho used. Hata watu pia wanaweza kutumika kuleta usalama kwenye ufalme huu to bring security kuleta usalama to bring security in people angalia hapo imesema nimefanya jambo jipya God is saying I've kwa maana nyingine halikuepo but now in other ways it was not there before God is saying I've done a new thing I've created a new thing atamlinda a woman mwanaume shall encompass a man the protection we're talking about here in the what we're talking about sasa jiulize mwanamke wewe ni mlinzi okay ukisikia pia sema mwanamke mpumbavu atagomoa nyumba yake kwa mikono yake mwenyewe when the bible say a foolish woman will destroy their own house by their own hands nitazameni eti unaangalia biblia ni niangalia usomo wewe unafikiri na maana ninginaanisha nini what do you think the meaning of this scripture mwanamke the woman kibibilia biblical is moja kati ya geti la ulinzi the woman is among the gates of protection sometimes you wait for the angel kuna mahali utaongea jina la Yesu kumbe mke wako ndio mpumbavu sometimes you will call the name of jesus kuna mahali utaongea jina la Yesu utaongea itaita damu Yesu mpaka asubuhi kaangalia watu wenye shida za ndoa sometimes you call the blood of jesus the whole night kuomba bila maarifa na kusaidia look at people with the marriage problems praying without knowledge unaomba lakini unabadilisha tabia you pray but don't change your habit it is very dangerous 
ni ngumu sana especially when your wife is is waiting for you to have a change that will not happen and many people are crying God change so and so how far there is a place they have to know kwa kiwango gani kiroho spiritually ulinzi mwingine another protection tunaupata we get hello si mbinguni not in heaven tunaupata kwa watu not from heaven but from tunaupata people tunaupata kwa watu we get some How protection from me kiasi gani mke wako is a key for security ni funguo ya ulinzi unaona watu wameoa huduma zao zikaribika have you seen people they have been destroyed when they got married unaona watu wameoa kazi zikafurigika some people when they got married they were fired unaona watu wameolewa au wameoa vitu fulani vikatokea mimi ninachotaka uelewe ni kwamba haijalishi una huduma kubwa kiasi gani what I want to understand that no matter your ministry no matter who you are and all the women should be like spiritually the woman spiritually the woman is recognized as one pillar of security department this this why when Eve when Eve fall the man also fell when your wife is attacked you are completely finished you are completely completely finished mke wako akishambuliwa wewe umekwisha moja